Hey guys, welcome to Can Follow TV, but more importantly, welcome to the Voice of Reason. Nostradamus is back, bitches. Yeah, a very good week in regards to Arsenal. We beat Napoli 2-0 in the Europa League. And we got a great result last night against Watford where we dug in and got three points, which is all I can ask. But we're going to come on to Napoli first, right? What have I said from the minute that we drew them? Does anyone want to remind me? I know what I said. But this is a question to all of you who said that we were out the minute we drew Napoli. Do you not remember? I said they are not a side to be feared. Alright? And Thursday night proved me right yet again. If any of you have watched Napoli this season at all, you will realise that Napoli away from home are just as bad as us. They're just as bad as us. Now, their best player on the night was Koulibaly. And he was putting in match saving blocks. But we just... We started so quick that Napoli just couldn't deal with it. And in the end, that's what it came down to. 2-0 up at the break. And that set the tone for the second half. And truthfully, if any, any one of us would have taken 2-0 in the first leg and having not conceded a, an away goal... Any one of us would have taken that. If you don't, if you say you wouldn't have taken that and you wanted more, then all right, fair enough. I get the whole, you know, we should have scored more, but, you know, we kept a clean sheet and we didn't concede an away goal. Like, I'm just at the point now where Arsenal fans just love to have a bitch and moan for no reason. So. It is what it is, and I'm looking forward to Thursday night when we play them in Naples. So, yeah, I mean, if we get a goal in Naples, then that pretty much seals it. So, and I don't see us conceding three goals in Naples. Although, that said, I didn't see us conceding two goals at the Emirates against Ostersons last year. So, touch wood a little bit. But, you know what? Things went well last Thursday, and to be honest with you, I'm not worried about Thursday at all. Honestly, I'm not. But individual performances, and especially after last week when we saw the worst performance that, well, possibly the worst performance of the season, we all wanted a response, and we got that. We, we got that on Thursday, so we can't really complain and we continued that momentum on last night by beating Watford. Now, I expected Watford to be tough. I expected it to be a difficult game. I thought we could beat them because this is the same Watford side that we beat earlier in the season. And I had people prior to the game saying to me, Oh, what f we're in we're no good away from home, Watford are going to do us, and stuff like that. I mean, first of all, we beat the same Watford team at home. But why should we fear Watford exactly? Like, why should we fear Watford? Yes, they're a decent side, and they've done well this season, but do people not grasp the fact that we've got decent players ourselves? 
I mean, I, I, I'm uh, honest to God. I, I don't know where these people come off saying that we should fear a Watford. Like, come off it, man. And the way the game panned out, we started slow. We usually do away from home anyway. But the turning point in the game was... Well, actually, there was two turning points. Both in the first half, ironically. The first one was the Ben Foster fuck-up, which seen Aubameyang put us 1-0 up. And from that and that alone, you can see why Man United got rid of him. He's not Man United standard. Absolutely not. And the second turning point was Dini getting sent off. Now, when I first seen it, I thought, red card all day long. I've seen it back since. And I think if that was any other player on the pitch other than Terea, I think it's a yellow card and nothing more is made of it. Because Terea is, well, Terea's quite a small guy. Like he's no, he's no mountain, but he's. He's a nippy midfielder. He'll terrorise you like from beginning to end. But it looked like it looked like Dini elbowed him in it looked like he elbowed him in the face because of how small Terea is. But that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. If anything, it was more you know, a forearm, a slight knock of the forearm if anything but listen I'm not going to complain I'm not going to complain whatsoever the way I see it Dini shouldn't have opened his mouth in the first place talking about oh Arsenal don't have cojones and while yes I agreed with you at the time I'm just like why open your mouth this guy's taken three L's since he said that he got sent off last night we beat Watford 2 0 at the Emirates. And what was the other one? Oh, yeah. The, I, I, there was another one I'm th thinking of. But th this guy's taken three L's since he opened his mouth. So, again, if you're a professional footballer, you don't say that on live TV. You, you don't. You don't. Keep your mouth shut. But, yeah. L listen, top four is well in our hands, man. It's well in our hands. Man City played Tottenham on the weekend. And if all goes according to plan, Man City will win that, hopefully. Man United play City and Chelsea in a couple of weeks. So if all goes according to plan, City will beat United and it will be a draw between United and Chelsea. So fingers crossed it goes with that. But that's in a few... All that is um, just hitting hope, you know what I mean? Right now, we've got to focus on Napoli. That's our priority now. Focus on Napoli, look ahead to that, and just focus on getting that away goal and killing the tie dead. Simple as that. And we can't really ask for more, really, because we're doing well. And do you know what? If Emery gets us into the top four, and he wins us the Europa League, he's done an absolute blinder in his first season. Considering where we were last season, top four and Europa League is a massive improvement. So, th the way I see it, Emery's doing a fantastic job. Fantastic job. And I'm loving every minute of it. Like, the salt from rival fans is delicious. Absolutely delicious. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. And you know what? It's nice being an Arsenal fan for a change. Because last year, I was miserable. I was pissed off. Now, not so much. Not so much. In fact, I'm more positive than negative now. 
I know. It makes a change, doesn't it? But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching the Voice of Reason. A little bit shorter than usual, but you know what? I'm, I'm knackered from work, so hopefully that doesn't down it too much. But until next time, I'll see you guys in a bit. Take care. And peace.